Megan Nice. Finally made her teach me how to do it full time. Now it's only like twice. It was twice, but still I felt better. Isn't that gritty? I was blown on it earlier. I have no idea where the sand came from. I thought it was the silica stuff. From Don't Lick the Table. I wasn't planning on it. Definitely won't now.
Hey guys, Chessa here at the Checker Distributor's office and warehouse, and I'm ready to share the newest quilting and sewing products available to order now from our website, checkerdisc.com. Today we're going to share samples from Daylight, Snapdragon, Kimber Bell, Fabric Confetti, Zaka Workshop, Emma Creation, Atkinson Designs, and even more. Checker Distributors is your one-stop shop for quilt shops looking to fill their stores with the best notions, patterns, books, and fabrics. And if you are a shop owner, you can add these items to your cart. You know we put a link in the description that's going to take you to just the item showcase today that's going to make it really easy to add them to your cart and order. Or if you're a consumer, make sure to stop at your local quilt shop to shop what we're showing today, or I'm sure they will happily order it for you if they haven't already. And in exactly two weeks, we are going to be in Chicago at H&H &H Americas. And we have a small team going, but we have big, big things planned for our booth, including taking a look at the newest Creative Grid ruler. So you know Maria is going to be there. She's going to be talking about the 60 degree tiny diamond by Krista Mosier, as well as the skinny 10 inch curvy long cabin, which is by Jeannie Ann Wright. The Stripology Quarters Mini Ruler by Gudrun Erla. And she's going to be demoing these in there to answer your question. She's going to have that table um, studio mat from Creative Grids, the 28 by 58 inch, as well as that 14 inch rotating cutting mat, and even more. So we hope you stop by. We're in, ooh, we're booth 1205, I think. Yeah, that's great. Yes, okay, we're booth 1205. We're in the... Um, directory listing, so just make sure you stop on by. I'm going to be there as well. Um, and I hope you're attending. Some of our vendors that are watching, I know they're exhibiting, so make sure you go and see them as well. And if you are visiting, leave us a comment. Or even if you're not visiting, you can leave us a comment because we love to know who you are, what your shop name is, where you're watching from. It's just always fun to see who we're virtually interacting with today. So just remember the show is not open to the general public. It is for quilt shop owners and their customers uh, only. So we're gonna drop down in the comments Byron's email and that's our sales manager. And you can give him a quick email to schedule an appointment or he can send you the link if you haven't seen our email to apply for your free ticket. So I hope we see you guys there. And before we jump in, I wanted to take a second to talk about, I realized this morning that this show in April that we're doing today marks four years of doing our Facebook Lives. Some of you have been watching us for all four years since we started doing this. So I just wanted to thank everybody at Checker Distributors, the vendors they work with for sending products, and of course, our wonderful and loyal customers who tune in week after week, month after month, and enjoy our virtual little show. So thanks to everybody for making it a wonderful four years, and we're not slowing down. You'll still be seeing us. Don't worry, we're not going anywhere. So we're just going to go ahead and start with, you know, I like to start with books. We're going to start with a new one from Annie's. This is Stylish Crochet for the Home. So it's a collection of stylish projects that make a welcome living space. Like look how cute that bobble rug is. You can enjoy baskets, like look at this ba pumpkin basket. There's blankets, table runners. Here's a great lumber lumbar pillow. So you have four design styles and 20 projects. Style crochet for the home from Annie's. Next is one from Schiffer Publishing. This is Threads of Treasure and has this really cool, oh, Cindy always messes up, but this is embossed or foil, foil stamping. It has a foil cover to it. It is hard cover, which I love hardcover books. Comes with a nice little bookmark. And you're going to learn how to make embroidery in a way to treasure. It's beautiful. That's actually embroidered on a leaf. How fun is that? Just using things you find in nature to create designs. There's stories. There's advice from um, 14 crafters. And there are business owners. They're accomplished artists. So it's just going to make reading it so interesting to have everybody's input in this book. 
and they're each sharing photos of their creations. They're going to encourage the readers and just have great empowering concepts into their stitching with this Threads of Treasure book. Next up is one from Zaka Workshop. This is Antique Dollhouse Coloring. So this is an enchanting miniature world to color and explore. So you're gonna step inside the magical world of dollhouses. There's over 20 different dollhouses in this book. They're miniature houses, they're shops, and they're all ready to be colored. Lots of details and just lots and lots of great creativity in here. There are also colored examples in here in the beginning just to help get your ideas running. So just a fun, different type of book, Antique Dollhouse Coloring. Next I have C&T. They're very well known for their color books. This is kind of a take on a pocket guide. It is a little bit bigger. It's by Lee Chappelle Monroe. It's Color Basics for Makers, Understanding the Rainbow. And if you can't see this little ruler in here, they're using a Creative Grids ruler in that picture. Love that. And it is spiral bound, which I also love. If you could make me a hardback spiral bound book, I would be in heaven. Be all my favorite things. So this is just a lot of different possibilities from freeform quilts to using montage techniques that's gonna help you release your artistic flair. Talks about multiple color palettes, using pops of color and the rainbow. So just lots of lots of great things. There's um, Irish chain quilts. There's techniques, just a lot of great information in this Spiral Bound book. This was by, um, I'm sorry, Lee Chappelle Monroe, Monroe. So next up, one more from CNT is Playful Panel Quilts. This is by Sydney McChesney. So this is, again, we're gonna explore a lot of possibilities for we saw panel quilts and there's a lot of traditional quilt blocks that work with panel quilts incorporating words adding your strips step-by-step -step color exercises and instead of just flipping through some of these quilt samples they were actually kind enough. Cindy sent us two samples that I have here with me. So first, let's take a look at this one. Make sure I don't hold it upside down because there's a right way for this one. Doing that great. No, upside down, just like I said, I didn't want to. Thank you. So you can see this one's got a really cute birthday theme to it. Your candles. And if we fold it down a little bit more, you can see the beautiful cakes and your panels. And I know you guys know about doing like picture quilts. For this birthday one, that would be fun to put pictures of the birthday person and their family and just create a fun. This quilt design too has um, cupcakes. This is super cute. It all fits with your birthday theme. So that one's great for multiple panels. This one is a little bit more about your embellishments. You can hear there's a <laughs> bell there somewhere on the little kitty cat. It has a little bell. So we got your words here. We got your she sheds. Which I can't wait to have my own she shed. Super fun. You have your floral. You got buttons over there. Little buttons to adorn it with. So lots and lots of fun things you can do with panels that doesn't require it just to be one big panel. So we see patterns for that all the time that you just put a couple blocks around a big panel. So this is incorporating a bunch of little panels. So thank you so much CNC Publishing and Cynthia Ann for sending samples from Playful Panel Quilts.
So next up, I have a new one from Cut Loose Press, designed by Sarah Falks, which is a new designer for us, and it is called Franken Patches. I showed one of hers, her first one with us, I think the last episode, it might have been one before that. And just like that first one we showed, it looks complex, it looks complicated, but if you take a second, you have your half square triangles, super simple to make your pinwheels. It has cutting instructions for making your background from yards, from yardage, you can use charm squares, you could even use scraps. So there's lots and lots of great things you can do with this. Again, your half square triangles and your hourglasses and just full squares. Just super intriguing and it looks, again, very unique and complicated, but it is not. So from Cut Loose Press, Franken Patches. Thank you. Now behind me from our new vendor is the Highlight Star Quilt, and I hope I said that right. And like I said, this is from Plains in Pine, which is a new designer to us. And this pattern is a choose your own adventure kind of um, quilt. There's three options for the diamond units and three options for the background fabric. I think this is one of the ones I posted on Facebook and the picture I used from Plains and Pines was not this quilt. And a lot of people were confused, like, do you sell this quilt? Do you have this pattern? And we do, it was just changed up with those options that she offers. So one pattern and you can get all sorts of different designs all from the one pattern. And if that's not bang for your buck, I don't know what is. So I love that. And it might look complicated, but it's an intermediate quilt pattern. It's just cutting and sewing on the bias and matching your diamond points. I have one more sample from Plains and Pines to show you, but you can shop all of her patterns on checkerdisc.com. Thank you. This one is Wolf Point. So this can be made with, again, either yardage or you can do a block by block so you can do more of a scrappy look. It's a great quilt pattern for someone who's made a couple quilts and kind of wants to advance their skills a little bit more on their cutting and sewing. Let's kind of fold it and just show. And this is another one that you could easily enlarge or shrink your size based on how many blocks you've used to create it. You can make matching pillows, just lots of great options here with Wolf Point from Plains and Pines. Thank you. So next I have from Lunchbox Quilts is a Cup of Joe. It is an applique machine embroidery quilt that is from, um, that is for all coffee lovers, which I am one of them. Thank you. And the quilt itself, oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> we're coffee drinkers in this office, so. You have your beautiful coffee shop open 24 hours as they should be. You could have decaf, cappuccino, latte, mocha, Americana. I think you drink latte, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she drinks lattes. So just super fun. I know my mom is eyeing it up because she likes embroidery and I finally have an embroidery machine. So her list of things for Chessa to make her, this probably just went on it. Just fold it, show a little more things on the bottom. So this is capturing all of your coffee house styles, kind of from the 1950s, kind of the theme we're going here. And as Lunchbox is known for, which the designer is Angie, and I've met her, and she is just the sweetest person ever, you know that they have these marker block templates to mark finished embroidery blocks for cutting to the correct finish size. So as you see, it includes all of your stuff. So this is just super great to help make sure your sizes are perfect. And of course, you can make matching pieces. Like here, Angie did some great um, hand towels to put in your kitchen or to just keep by a coffee nook. You can put them by your coffee nook. So Cup of Joe from Lunchbox Quilts. Next up, I have items from Fomori Cutlery. And if you didn't know, they are checker exclusive. So you might've seen these in the pictures I was posting the last couple of days. So I'm gonna start first 
with these two color options of the um, embroidery kits. So they have this beautiful all black design as well as this multicolor design. You have your um, mini duck bills, you have your applique scissors, you have your mini double curve scissors, your straight micro tip scissors, your easy snips, as well as your angle precision tweezers. So they come in these beautiful, beautiful cases that have their coordinating equipment in them. Give you a little bit better look. Very, very pretty. So those are from Fumori. Now they have a third design in color, but it's a different kit. Hold it this way. So this is um, a sewing kit. So you're gonna have your um, fabric shears, your trimming scissors, your surgical style seam ripper, and your opposable curved tweezers. This is another beautiful, beautiful design. So let's just show all the bags or traveling cases, holds everything nicely and sturdy. Great for travel, great for, great for trips, or just to stay organized in your studio. I will be adding these to my studio. Next, I have some new ones from Katie Cupcakes. We have label, labels and a patch. You got your love in every stitch patch. You got your handmade quilt labels and made for snuggling and keeping warm and showing off. This is a quilt label as well that even has a coordinating um, envelope and card. So how fun is that? You can put the card with the coordinating quilt label you use on your gift. Love that. Next from Primrose Cottage, again, my spiral bound. I can see we're frozen, there we go, catch up. Again, I love that spiral bound. It's so easy to flip your pages without ripping anything. This is from Primrose Cottage, it's called Beautiful things come together one stitch at a time, cross stitch journal. There's um, in the front, I believe, yep. There's two pages of stickers. And of course the journal belongs to page. There's 20 project, project trackers. Start date, end date, notes. So lots and lots of great information to keep you all organized and you know we love being organized. So next, another newer vendor of ours, which is Snap Dragging Quilting, is Many Moons. So here you have your wonderful half square circles and this is a very modern quilt pattern and it would be great for the Kona solids like it's shown here. Of course, it'd be great for your prints as well, like highlighting your larger prints that would kind of get lost in your design if you kind of cut them up because they're too big, you wouldn't be too sure what they were. So it's a great way to learn and master curved piecing and your curves could be cut with the one and only Creative Grids Curvy Circle Savvy Ruler. And there is the option of paper templates that are included with the pattern if you don't have the ruler. So many moons, thank you. Now we have one more from Snapdragon Quilting today. It's called Groovy. And Alyssa over here was eyeing it up earlier and was very excited about it. So I'm sure you guys will be too. How fun is this? It just kind of transports you back into the era of peace, love, creativity, when things were simpler. Again, you have your curved piecing. You even have some raw edge applique and clear and detailed instructions for each technique that you're going to use. So this is the groovy quilt. And to give Alyssa a second here, I'm gonna see do we have any questions, Cindy, or comments or anything? No, all right, good. That means we're explaining things good. I love it. How's everybody's weather? Ours, it's a little rainy today, but it is warm enough that I did have flip-flops on today. So very excited. I see Auntie M's. 
I hope you have your flip flops out too. I hope that means your weather's great. So to keep going today, we have, um, I believe two things from Tamara Kate. The other one's over here, so don't panic. I have it over here. <laughs> and this one is called Another Lovely Day. It is raw edge applique. I know she was also eyeing this one up. Look at how beautiful and just colorful this is. This is another prime example of using larger print fabrics because it's larger pieces and your design is not gonna get lost. It is just so bright. It's a great ode to summer. It's the happiest of quilts. And you have full size templates as well as a clear layout. And the stitching does double duty. It's gonna anchor your applique in place as well as quilt in your quilt at the same time. So two for one, who doesn't love that? Thank you. Another lovely day. Now next from Tamara Kate are fun fabric buckets. So I have a couple of them here, a couple different sizes. As you can see, there's more throughout the shelf over here that I'm using to hold other products you're gonna see today. It's a great way to stash your knitting supplies. You can use it to store toys, because as you see, I know a lot of us have these um, QB organizers or cubby cubby organizers and these as you saw fits perfect so it's a great way to organize supplies I have three or four of these in my studio actually and you could even use it to put a house plant in it so there's six different sizes to these fabric buckets there's a large medium all the way down to the smallest size which I have over here so just for an example, the difference in sizes you can do. You have six amazing sizes. They are great for storage. Like I said, I'm using them for today's show to put to contain my items. It fits so nice in there. And of course, you can see it's flipped over here to give you a nice binding, but it doesn't have to be. If you need it a little bit taller, you can simply unfold that and get another inch or two out of your height. So next up is from Knot and Thread, and this is the checkered star quilt pattern. How cute is this? So you got one, two, three, you got a 12 patch in here. You have your beautiful stars. It's a classic design that kind of has a modern twist, especially with the solids and the colors. And each block, has a dynamic combination of checker squares and your sawtooth store. So you got an alternating placement, so you kind of get the movement with your quilt. And this pattern is a perfect blend of traditional and contemporary, and it's super eye-catching. So it's a checkered star quilt from Knot and Thread Designs. Thank you. Auntie M's doesn't have flip flops yet, oh no. I hope you can soon. So to today I have from Kimberbell, it's called One Hoop Wonders. So it is a CD that you're getting that um, has a lot of different blocks for repeating patterns. That's gonna be great for making baby quilts, lap quilts, gifts, and more things like that. They can be stitched in five by seven or larger hoops. And one example, of what you can do are these beautiful arrows. Simple yet creative. And then you have beautiful pumpkins. Make sure you do this one the right way. Thank you. Again, so there's that beautiful repeat. So you can make it into a variety of sizes. Again, that five by seven hoop or larger. So this is great for beginners or seasoned embroiderists. So you're just gonna simply sit to design on your quilt block and then piece them together. Thank you. So that is One Hoop Wonders. So next, Blake and Laser is back with even more quilt tumbler designs. We're gonna start with the 20 ounce tumbler designs. I have six of them. Do three at a time. So this one has a nice antique sewing machine on it, has your sunflowers, and it says so addicted to sewing. So these are 20 ounce tumblers. 
It does come with the straw that has the stopper in it. I know I have it upside down. This one says, sorry, I can't. I have plans with my sewing machine. We have all used this as an excuse a time or two. So these are gonna hold your drink hot or cold, or I'm sorry, hot for up to six hours and ice cold drinks for up to 24 hours. This one says, I sew a piece of my heart into every quilt I make. We have a couple more designs. These are double wall vacuum sealed. Here we have beautiful things come together one stitch at a time. Memories are stitched with love. And this one's just full of fun little quotes. This one says, why yes, I am a sociopath. Love that. You also have on the top here, your sliding lid lock. So you can, if you're drinking coffee, a lot of people don't use straws with their coffee, but you will still be secure because you can close that bowl. You don't have to worry about spilling. Love that because I am a messy person. Life is short by the fabric. This is something we should all listen to. And then just released from Lake and Laser are these 40 ounce tumblers. Right now we just have these two gorgeous colors. You have this beautiful pink, it says love to quilt. So these are laser etched on. And then eat, sleep, quilt, repeat. They come with straws as well. And you have your nice slot there for the straw. And the popular, popular thing these days, the handles. I know I was very excited for these because I love my tumblers and bottles that have handles. I just find it easier to carry and as I'm carrying other things. So again, from Lake and Laser, new 20 ounce and 40 ounce cups. Next, oops, I'm jumping the gun here. Was I, did we have clover up there? Nope, we don't, okay. So next I have lots and lots and lots of new things from It's So Emma, or I'm sorry, it's Emma Creations. The premium Egyptian cotton lace and crochet knitting yarn. So here is just so you can see all of the colors. There's 45 different solid colors. These are not variegated, they are solid. Just an example of them unwrapped, lots of great colors. They do come individually wrapped. I just took them out for you guys to see. So you could sell them individually or as a set. And here's that, another one, another size of that Tamara Kate little box that I'm using, storage box. And more from Emma Creation is some Shashiko thread. So this is Olympus Shashiko Shed. Lots and lots of great color additions to the line. They also have silk embroidery floss. Another one I'm keeping in that awesome bag. They have them grouped together in colorways for me, your greens and your blues, some pinks. Purpley blues. So lots of good stuff here. These are coming to Chicago with us. So if you wanted to see them in person, make sure you stop by booth 1205. What did I just do? I just did the silk. So we gotta do the shishiko. And I put those. Where did I put them? Let's them up here. Underneath. Oh, yes, thank you. Okay. So these are shishiko samplers. They have them in white and blue. Open up so you can see. 
They're 13 and a half inches. So this is a great way to practice your Shishiko design. Lots of different design options. So like I said, there's these blue cloth or white cloths and then there's also blue ones. And then we have some more Shishiko thread, which Shishiko thread was originally kind of developed for Shishiko stitching. However, recently they have been used a lot for quilting, embroidery, and knitting. So although most colors are kind of Japanese traditional colors, they do match and work well with quilts. And then this was very interesting to me because I didn't know it was a thing. Also from Emma Creation. They are So Me March dies. There's a kit that has everything you need. There's liners. So you can make your own colors. Well, you're, you're buying the color you want, but you can, if you have a bunch of white, you're able to make it that color. So that's fun and different. So that was last from Emma Creation. Next, I have some stuff from DMC. It's 100% organic, non muscle wool. So here's my sample card of your colors. Again, it's 100% organic, organic wool. It's been dyed using infusions of completely natural ingredients such as walnut, rhubarb, juniper, things like that. And even the thickness, well, it, it has an even thickness. I wish you guys could feel this. And so it's great for hand embroidery, cross stitch, punch needle weaving, and even mending. So this is a Moline special. 100% organic. And then they also have quality wooden embroidery hoops. You can see these are a different kind of size and shape that we're used than we're used to. Kind of got more of your oval and then your rounded corner of your square. I think that just adds some different style to whatever it is that you're putting in it. It's not gonna bend or warp. They're easy to grip. They have these great screws that are gonna keep your fabric taut and in place. It's a smooth finish. You don't have to worry about splinters or anything. So wooden embroidery hoops from DMC. Next from Clover, we have more sizes of bamboo crochet hooks. So you'll have to read the description closely to make sure you get the size you want. Here's an example. So these provide a natural warmth and lightweight feel because they're the Takumi bamboo crochet hooks and the pointed hook tips is super helpful to smoothly glide through your stitches and make your intricate patterns a breeze to create. And I think these are super cute from Madame So. So there's a variety of colors of these jumbo quilting lamps. Take each color out. It comes with six, so two of each color. So I mean, look at this in relation to my hand. They're not kidding when they're jumbo. So these are super easy to open. You know, some clamps really have to fight to open them. These you don't have to, you have fun colors. They open really big. So you got your pink, your green, your blue, and they're softer, more like pastel -y colors. So the jumbo quilting clamps from Madame So. And let me get this guy. I dropped. 
We have a new spray adhesive from Dritz. It is a temporary spray adhesive to be um, specific. It's odorless, colorless, stainless. It's acid-free. It's going to eliminate your basting and pinning. It is, oops, that's from my dropping it. So it is aerosol based. So it's going to be super easy with an easy spray. It's going to be even. You can do fabric and paper. And because it is not permanent, you can reposition your fabric, your paper, and it's not going to gum up your needle. So it's great, like I said, for that temporary adhesive. So that's, yeah, I kind of screwed it up when I dropped it in my bed. So that's the Dritz Spray Adhesive. And from It's So Emma are cloth bitties. So it's kind of like the scissor markers that they've had that you've seen before. It's on a rope stretchy rope you have two magnets at the end and they snap together so this is for holding your fabric together you can also do work in progresses and pin or not pin them magnetize them together so everything stays organized and you're not going to lose anything these are silicone so they're super durable like i said they're stretchy and the magnets are super strong have a fun design on the top of them so from It's So Emma Cloth Bitties. So next I have some more quilt models to show you. This first one is from Faith and Fabric. It is the rosary quilt pattern. Thank you. So you can see you have your rosary, you have your cross down here. It's just over 39 inches by 39 inches. So it is a square quilt. It's a perfect gift for a baptism, a first communion, or just to give as a special gift. Your negative space you have here could really leave some space for some intricate and fun quilt designs and um, these great blocks, hexagon blocks. You can make any color. You can make it in the person you're gifting to's favorite color. Be great for solids and prints. And it's just a little bit more traditional of a feel. So the rosary quilt from Faith and Fabric. Thank you. So next I have two things from Fabric Confetti. The first one is 12 Days of Christmas. So it is a woodlands embroidery pattern. So it's a new take on traditional Christmas themes. You see you have your cardinal in your pine tree, your owls, got a bear over there deers so lots and lots of cute animals here and you can do this in the hoop or you could do it um, without background quilting and do it in a smaller hoop size now for an additional coordinating thing with that with 12 days of christmas they have the winter wishes banner it's also from fabric cafes so again this is based on that 12 days of christmas in woodlands and it's your winter wishes table runner. or wall hanging or really it's up to you. So next I have a brand new one from Atkinson's Designs. Thank you. This one is called Crossroads. Crosswalk. Oh, thank you. Crosswalk. So this is super quick and easy fat quarter friendly quilts. You're just gonna go on a walk. Now that's a quarter inch walk with your quarter inch foot. There's easy sewing, there's five sizes, your baby, lap, twin, queen, and quilt. And we love having those options. Again, this could be great for your scraps because your little pieces here and your big blocks. So for your prints again, that would be great. So cross walk from Atkinson Designs. Next, I have a caddy from Zacco Workshop. This is the Stylish Sewing Caddy. This is the large version. There is a smaller version, so now we have the large version. And you know we love the hardware in these because it opens and you have that large mouth. So your pattern does include all your materials in it. And in Zacco Workshop, theme you can always buy extra hardware and zippers separate 
so you don't have to rebuy the pattern. You can always just buy additional hardware. So you have that great wide opening here. You have internal pockets. You could even customize your pockets to make them to be dividers. You could fit your tools. You have your great square bottom on the base so it sits nice. You have more pocket dividers on the outside. And then you just close it up, zip it, and you have your very great handles and easy access to all of your stuff. So the stylish sewing caddy in a larger size. Now, keeping with the organization theme from So Organized Design is the mini So Organized. Now, just like Zaka Workshop, this is a mini take on the original. Here you can see your size difference. So it's a new compact size for tight spaces. Maybe you travel in an RV. This would be perfect. You have the stand so it's nice and sturdy as you take things in and out the pockets. There's only a need for one, maybe two, or I'm sorry, one fat quarter or two fat eights and some stabilizers. So you're four and a half by five and a half by two. It's gonna go together really quickly. It'd be great for a sew along project or a class. You have your kit that includes your instructions, your frame, your elastic, and your fun little label. So mini sew organized from Sew Organized Designs. Again, it's a smaller version of their original design. So you do have options. Next is the Linger pattern, which is from Lizard Creek Quilting. Thank you. So here you have your beautiful swirls. This feels like it's in boutiques. Super pretty. It's a tie-dye look, kind of 60s and 70s. Just a lot of colorfulness. And then if you take a peek, there is a snail. Now, snails move slowly, linger, like the name of the pattern. So it is kind of a reminder to just live and enjoy each day as it comes. It is 38 inch finished blocks, draw edge fusible applique, easy yardage cut, so it's great for quilting. And the cover quilt does use batiks, as you can see here. So, Linger by Lizard Creek Quilting. Thank you. And my last guy today, you probably saw hanging out over here, is a new lamp from none other than Daylight. So, this is the Uno Pro table lamp, and it is super flexible, as you see. You can easily move your head to position it where it needs to go, in your neck. So it's super bright, it's high quality LEDs. It's a 95 CRI, so you can easily see your detail and colors as if you were in natural light. There's the anti-glare shade, so again, that awesome movement. It's easy to move around because it's a great shape and it might be hard to see in video, but you have different light brightness settings. So the Uno Pro table lamp from a daylight company, I believe they also released a floor model. So make sure you check them all out on checkerdisc.com. So to wrap up today's show, a reminder that in two weeks, we're gonna be at Chicago at H&H &H America. So come see me, Maria, Byron, Jim, Deb, your if your sales rep Sarah Maylath, she's gonna be there. So come and visit us. And again, Creative Grids gonna be talking about the new rulers like the 60 degree tiny diamond by Krista Mosier, the 10 inch curvy log cabin trim tool by Jean Ann, and your strip algae quarters mini quilt roller by Gudrun Erla. So please stop by booth 1205. And don't forget this is wholesale only, it's not open to the general public. Email Byron Mastin. We put his email in there to set up an appointment or to get your free ticket. You're going to 
have to remember we have over 125,000 products from over a thousand brands. It's all going to be in one booth. We don't joke when we say it is one stop shopping at Checker. So check the link in the description for all the items we talked about today. I don't think we have any questions, but we do always come back and check. You can always leave a comment later and we will get back to you. Always feel free to email your sales rep or call the customer service line. So we will see you back here in one month on Wednesday, May 15th.